Welcome back. We are halfway through this very special episode of Bahrain Now, and we turn to another Bahraini leading lady who is the head of marketing and corporate communications at the Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance, Ms. Emil El Sirani. Hello, Ms. Emil, and thank you for joining us here at the studio thank today. Thank you. Thank you, Yasmin. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for being here. So um, the Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance is known for its outstanding role in supporting Bahraini women and providing a variety of opportunities for women's empowerment. Can you tell us more about this regard? Um, yes, um, the BIBF has been a beacon of knowledge for the past 40 years, having been established in 1981. So this year we celebrate 40 years of achievements um, throughout the years, um, throughout the years of empowering women uh, in in the finance and uh, in the finance world, basically, um, uh, it's be re really been an honor uh, for us to provide um, uh, training opportunities for women, uh, and women have been fundamental in the in the nation building process. Um, and as is clear today, uh, Bahraini women are celebrated every year on the first of December in Bahraini Women's Day, mm -hmm. and that makes us really proud. Uh, and um, um, the theme of uh, this year's uh, celebration of Bahraini women uh, can, can, can't be more relevant. Um, it's the role of women uh, in national development and a march of progress in a dedicated nation. This is just another reflection of how uh, women are encouraged, women are uh, empowered in every aspect. Uh, the BIBF um, has been providing uh, training and development opportunities um, equally between men and women. We've always taken uh, this as a given. Our, um, our programs are open to both genders uh, and um, especially women uh, are fundamental to growth in, mm -hmm. in anywhere. Um, a follow-up to what you just said, so as a Bahraini woman yourself, how do you value the support of the Supreme Council for Women for the advancement of women in all fields and in your field in particular? Um, no doubt uh, the Supreme Council for Women uh, has been fundamental in supporting the royal vision, in supporting women mm -hmm. uh, and in creating a supportive environment uh, that provides um, uh, nurture, care, support to Bahraini women in all aspects of their lives, whether they are in government, whether they are in corporations, in the business world or even within their families. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'd really like to take this opportunity to congratulate them on achieving 20 20 years uh, of being uh, supportive, a supportive pillar in our society. And we are really proud um, as Bahraini women to have uh, such an institution that uh, caters to women's requirements, mm -hmm. uh, women's needs, uh, and is supportive in every aspect uh, of our lives. Yeah, and you mentioned that um, the BIBF takes into account like the training and human capital development. Um, can you tell us more about how the institute plays a role in terms of how it supports Bahraini women in the financial sector? And in regards, it will correlate to um, the, let's say, advancement of the Bahraini market. Um, uh, like I said, uh, at the BIBF, we've always taken gender equality as a given. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, we always see men and women as equal partners in nation building. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's always been that way. But um, we do have uh, programs that uh, cater especially to women. Mm -hmm. um, I'll give you an example on that. Uh, during the, uh, during uh, 2020, uh, with the COVID-19 pandemic, um, we uh, we uh, uh, presented a program that was specifically for women, mm -hmm. which was to uh, to help them with the digital literacy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as you know, many women found themselves online yeah. and having to help their children study yes. online or do payments or do procedures, yeah. everything online. Um, so we we catered to uh, a program for uh, for digital literacy mm -hmm. in cooperation with BBK. Uh, and um, that was really a success. It mm -hmm. was a, a big success because we uh, found that many women um, wanted to learn more of about course. how to use, uh, you know, the different uh, digital platforms, mm -hmm. the different programs, yeah. how to be secure online. Mm -hmm. And that was a, a really good reflection of uh, the training opportunities that were uh, provided only for women. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, on the same, on on a general level, all of our programs are open to all genders. Mm -hmm. 
Um, of course, the BIBF is supportive of all women and supportive of uh, our, our students and our staff. Um, we're very lucky uh, at the BIBF because we have around 60% of our staff uh, are ladies. Wow. <laughs> and um, uh, they are even in leadership positions mm -hmm. like um, human resources, like insurance, mm -hmm. banking, uh, marketing, so um, and other specializations, of course. But uh, women play a leading role uh, at the BIBF, whether uh, as staff or as, uh, as students. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. And I love how you used COVID as like a platform for you to advance. Like it was an opportunity on its own. Exactly. That was pretty cool. Yes. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> um, so what are BIBF's future plans to further support Bahraini women? You mentioned that initiative. So what other initiatives, let's say, are there in the future? Um, we're constantly providing training programs, initiatives, um, uh, you know, the, even the public offerings, which are the morning classes or the evening classes, mm -hmm. uh, all of them um, are, are uh, training opportunities across the board, uh, whether it's for banking or insurance, mm -hmm. um, uh, whether it's accounting or digital transformation, or even leadership and management. Um, all of our programs cater to improving um, uh, the Bahraini skills, the, a, a Bahraini skill set, mm. uh, um, increasing the knowledge and the specific knowledge for different uh, roles within a corporation or within a, the government. Um, and uh, most, of, most of our programs um, uh, are customizable. They are uh, programs that cater to the business sector and cater to, to uh, يعني, all organizations mm. that uh, have a specific requirement. Mm. Um, and we continue to provide uh, programs that uh, uh, improve the level of knowledge, the, uh, the skills of Bahrainis throughout in different uh, sectors. Mm -hmm. um, so on this special occasion, is there anything you'd like to add before we conclude? Um, I'd like to take this uh, opportunity uh, to send my very best wishes and my heartfelt congratulations to Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the uh, wife of His Majesty the King and the, and the head of the Supreme Council for Women. Uh, I'd like to congratulate her on, um, uh, the, on the Bahraini Women's Day. Um, and uh, I'd like to also congratulate all women, all super women of Bahrain <laughs> yes. uh, for being the role models that they are. Um, they've all, they all, the Bahraini woman has been a fundamental pillar uh, in nation building and um, I'm really proud to be uh, a Bahraini woman that is uh, surrounded by role models. Uh, my dear late mother and uh, my dear aunts, they're mm -hmm. examples mm -hmm. um, of uh, a strong woman and uh, that's how they taught us to be. Yeah. Um, we were taught by our mothers, by our family members to be strong, independent women mm -hmm. and I wish all women in Bahrain the very best on this uh, beautiful occasion. Um, and uh, it, it's amazing uh, to be a, a woman in Bahrain. There are no pay gaps. Yeah. There, are, there is no discrimination. Mm -hmm. uh, we are extremely supported. We, are, um, uh, we have everything we need uh, and we, we are fully aware of our roles and responsibilities. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we are just um, uh, equal partners in nation building. Thank you, Ms. Amal, for joining us. And thank you for being a motivation and a role model for all Bahraini women. And we wish you a very happy Bahraini Women's Day. We will be back right after this. Stay tuned.